to Congressman Paul E. Ryan. It's good to be home. It is. You know, I've got to say, um, on behalf of Jana, Liza, Charlie, Sam, my family, um, I first just want to say thank you for your prayers. I want to say thank you for your support. I want to say thank you for your friendship. Um, we went through an interesting election cycle this last year. It wasn't your ordinary congressional election. And, um, it was great to know that we had so many friends and family and supporters here at home in Wisconsin that were there with us. And I just want to say how proud I was to stand up for our country as a conservative from the great state of Wisconsin. Thank you. Now, we are an hour off schedule, I think. So I will be very brief. I'm going to keynote tonight's dinner. So I will save um, my powder until then to try and help us get back on time because I can tell the timekeepers here are looking at their watches consistently. There are a couple things I just want to say. Um, number one, we have a strong grassroots party. And our party is only as strong as the people who carry it in their communities on their shoulders. And one of those people who has been carrying our party, our message on her shoulders in Racine County is Nancy Milholland, and guess what? It is her birthday today. Where's the scene? Way in the back, the scene's way in the back, and so we had this song in Congress we sang when it's your birthday. If you could just help me, Nancy, is she here in, in the room? She's in the building, so let's say it so she can hear it, and it goes like this. This is your birthday song. It doesn't last too long. Hey! All right? So Nancy Milholland, this is your birthday song. It doesn't last too long. Hey! All right, happy birthday, Nancy Milholland. I just wanted the opportunity to embarrass her a little bit. Now, I'm going to say this really quickly so we can get back on schedule, and I'll expand on this tonight. Believe me, I'm familiar with the last election. <laughs> it didn't go the way that I had thought or planned it for it to go. But one of the challenges we found ourselves consistently was we were fighting big government in theory. President Obama could say all these great things, make all these grand promises, which would have occurred if just all of these big government ideas had passed. You see, he passed his policies, he passed his agenda, but they weren't implemented. Well, now, we will be experiencing big government in practice. And nowhere is this going to be more clear and more evident than healthcare. Lots of issues, but healthcare is the, the tip of the iceberg. And what's going to happen here is that the nation is watching the broken promises of big government are being realized in front of their eyes and within their daily lives. This gives us this gives Republicans, conservatives, an, an, an opportunity. This gives us an opportunity to demonstrate like we've done before, to say why this is wrong, who we are, what we believe, why this nation's founding principles should be re reinvigorated and not replaced, what our better alternatives are. Because now we're fighting big government in practice. Now we can show that this was one big, false, huge, empty promise. This gives us that opportunity. And so when I take a look at the future and what it holds, I look at what we've done right here in Wisconsin as a Republican Party. Look at what our leaders have done. Look at how we've acted. Look at how we've conducted ourselves. We are people who say, here's who we are, this is what we believe, and if you elect us, this is what we will do. Then they got elected and then they did it. 
exactly the kind of principal leadership we need. And guess what? Hardworking Wisconsin taxpayers said, God darn it, I'm going to send you back. So we have a governor, a lieutenant governor, and a bunch of state legislators who've been elected twice in one term. That's how good we've been. So I'm going to close this down because I want to help get us back on, on time. And we'll talk more about this tonight. But this is not a time to sulk. This is not a time to sink. This is not a time to drown your sorrows. This is a time to take stock, figure out what it is we need to improve on, rededicate ourselves to our principles, to our ideas, and know that we have this golden opportunity because we don't have big government in theory anymore. We do have it in practice. And the American people are going to be reminded once again about its falsehood, about the empty promises. And this is the moment that we have to offer them real hope by giving them real alternatives and showing them what real limited government and economic freedom and what real conservative principles do. And that's why I'm excited, because we've already shown how to do it right here in Wisconsin. Thank you very much. We'll see you tonight at dinner. God bless you all.